okay this is apostle Gideon and by God's grace I'm going to take you uh, through the Bible study plan the main reason why I'm going to start about this is to understand the whole Bible all the whole story of the Bible clearly and easily so if you have not yet subscribed you can subscribe on that channel uh, if, you can, if you can share with your friends it's a good idea also um, because these are the fundamentals the, the fundamentals of the Bible some of us were in Christianity but you don't know what you are in but if you happen to for us well you will understand what is Christianity what is the Bible how many books are in the Bible who wrote the, the, the different books uh, and it's what we are going to look at the Bible that's why we've said Bible study plan oh understanding the whole Bible stories clearly and easily from the beginning to the end hallelujah so just stay tuned on and God will bless you the first question we want to ask ourselves and of course we answer is what is the Bible what is the Bible most of us we think Bible is this uh, is this physical Bible you know this is the Holy Bible and you know uh, some of us have our Bibles on, on phones you know but today I want you to understand that the Bible is the Word of God revealed and recorded in the collection of books written over centuries you get it it's not just a book but it's a collection of books written and collected for centuries hallelujah so if you are writing i can re read again that the bible is the word of god revealed and recorded in a collection of books written over centuries so, so the bible is a collection uh, as a collection it consists of 66 books both old and new testament and so the old testament consists of 39 books 39 books then um, and uh, also what you have to know about the Old Testament it was written in three um, in two languages actually uh, in Hebrew and Aramaic you get it and it ranges from Genesis up to Malachi I hope you have not yet left you I want to go very slowly so that you can understand it you need to understand these basics because it's a it's a very shameful to be holding the bible when you don't know which languages what was it translated from who wrote it, this book and this book how many books are in the bible what the bible you know some of us thought that the bible is the word of god like that but it's the word of god that was re revealed and recorded in a collection of different books um, so the New Testament as I've told you the Old Testament contains six, uh, 39 books uh, and, and was written in Hebrew and Aramaic you get it and it ranges from Genesis up to Malachi are we still together then the New Testament consists of 27 books so when you add 27 plus 39 those are 66 books I hope we are still together and so for this one it was written in Greek and Aramaic not Hebrew the other one is Hebrew and Aramaic so the New Testament in Greek and Aramaic are we still together so we are um, and also it, it ranges from Ma Matthew up to Revelations thank you very much if you are still uh, following and another thing we have to know is um, the human nature of the Bible means that it was written by men. If you are talking to someone who doesn't know about spiritual things, just let him understand it that it was written by men. It, uh, but it is divine. 
and its spiritual or divine nature meaning that although it was written by men it was inspired by god himself thus it is the it is divine word of god and it is very very true that it is it was inspired by god for that so that men can write it hallelujah the word bible originated from the greek uh, language referring to books the word bible means books in a greek language and so in ancient times uh papyrus or the print from which the fibers were extracted came to be used for writing uh, in place of stones on the sheets created from papyrus texts were written and stored in the form of rolls or parchments so each each papyrus book uh, in greek was translated as biblos biblos as in b b i b l o s and the plural of this biblos was bible wow from this originated the bible as the set of sacred books so before the term bible was widely used this collection of books was more often called the holy scriptures the holy scriptures so as you, as you've heard that the bible was called biblia the, the greek word of the bible was translated from the greek which mean which meant uh biblos that was singular so to make it uh, a collection of many books they had to say that it is bible i hope we are still together uh so uh, that was that was a question concerning what is the bible i hope now you've got to know what is the bible how many books are there which from which book to which book that the new testament uh, the old testament contains and from which book to which book that the new testament contains so we are going to look i hope you've got to know where the word bible comes from it comes from the greek you've got to know that the bible or the old testament was written in two languages that is the hebrew and the aramic then the new testament was uh written in greek and aramic that means the whole bible was written in three languages the hebrew the aramic and greek amen so in the next uh, in the next cli clip we are going to see who was how was the bible written and who wrote the bible hallelujah so wait for the next episode